It's mail time. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. This is mail time where I open mail that you guys out there watching have been sending to my P.O. box and right here on the screen you can send packages to my P.O. box at Cy Productions for some future videos. We're kicking things off in a box that I opened prematurely and it's a sleeping bag from a company called Big Lou. I got this big box and I forgot to wait to open it for a mail time. So this is actually the first package that I'm wearing right now. What's interesting about this sleeping bag is that it's made out of an aerogel material, which is basically like what NASA uses in a lot of different products that go up on the ISS and space shuttles and stuff like that, which is pretty dang cool. Supposedly a millimeter of this aerogel material, which is about 80% air. It has the ability to keep you warm down to negative 40 Celsius, which sounds insane. That's about the same in Fahrenheit. It's made out of a really like water resistant feeling material and it's pretty neat. The company also sent me an email and said that this is a product that is going to be launching on Kickstarter sometime this month. So I will be leaving a link for that Kickstarter in the description if you guys wanna check it out, if it's even live right now. I seem to fit in this thing pretty damn perfectly right now and I actually just took the Kimbo off the other day. So there's a good chance I'm gonna be testing this thing out instead of my like $200 synthetic zero degree bag. This thing, might do a better job, I'm not sure. Oh, and I'm spilling all my Red Bull. Okay, so other than the sleeping bag, which I'm gonna be testing here soon, they also sent out a quilt. It's sort of like a comforter for bed and feels a little bit different. It just kind of feels normal to me, but they do have aerogel material in here as well. So I got two options for when we're possibly testing out ground tents or maybe some new rooftop tents here in the next couple of weeks. So thank you to Big Lou for sending that out. I love testing out camping gear, as you guys know. And we got a lot of other packages here from all over the country. So let's start small and work our way up to the big ones. First on top here, we have one from Northwoods Overland Adventures from Wisconsin. I was just up there recently. Ooh, we've got patches. i add this to my Overland patch wall here in my office. Check that out right there. Also got some stickers too. Talon and Ash, unfortunately Ashley is working right now, but I will relay this message. We love the videos and seeing all of your adventures. We also adventure in our 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road, hell yeah. We definitely need to get back out to Colorado and adventure as the last time we were there, we were getting married not too far from you at Sapphire Point and we stayed at Keystone. Awesome, I just rode at Keystone this week on Tuesday. We're working on building our Instagram, Northwoods Overland Adventure, and your photos are a huge inspiration. We would be super excited to see our patch in the Sat Van or the Sat Lander or the Uni Runner. Also, we're sending our normal stickers and our lady sticker. Stickers right here. I'll keep one for myself. I'll give one to Ashley. I'll give her a patch too if she wants to put it in the Uni Runner. Thanks for the amazing content and inspiration, Cody and Alex. Cody and Alex, I really appreciate the handwritten letter, appreciate the patches and stickers. Thank you for watching everything that Ashley and I are doing, traveling around. I'm glad someone is grabbing inspiration from what we're doing. This thing is gonna go up on my Overland patch wall right now. Maybe I will see you guys the next time you come to Colorado or maybe I'll make my way up to an area that you guys are at sometime soon. Next up, we've got one from Washington. This is also for me and Ashley. Maybe I should have waited for Ashley on this one. Talon and Ashley, for your Kimbo, safe travels, Marissa Finn, Washington State. We got a Mount Rainier National Park sticker. The first place I ever took the Kimbo was Mount Rainier around the National Park and that's where I filmed like the initial walk around video. And Marissa must know that we stick these on the back of the Kimbo. We actually just added one from the Great Sand Dunes National Park last week. So I don't think we have one from Rainier. So Marissa, thank you so much for watching the videos and enjoying all the Kimbo content. This will definitely have a home on the back of the Kimbo here sometime soon. Just got all the stickers and patches to add. All right, next up, the packages are getting a little bit fatter. This one right here is coming from New Hampshire. Oh, <laughs> this is like the sticker episode, man. So many stickers. Oh, Die Free Co. This is 
a knife. So there were some engineers who were working for one of my favorite companies, Q, and they ventured out and made a knife. It has been a while since I've gotten a new pocket knife, and as you guys know, I just did a recent EDC update video. I've been sort of switching things up and trying some new things, which you guys will see here, maybe in the next video. So first of all, check out all of these stickers. <laughs> That's a pretty good one right there. RIP. Got some nods on the brain. Gorilla stickers. And last but not least, I'll have to find a spot for all these. Now let's check out this knife because if it is anything like the products that I'm familiar with from some of these guys in the past, it's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> they include a Band-Aid, tie-dye Band-Aid in there. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit for this one. <sighs> Ooh, well oiled. I'll let you guys take a look at it first. Very interesting design. Very original looking. And wipe some of this oil off. That is pretty slick. Ooh, and I like that locking mechanism. So this blade right here is known as the McQueen coming from Die Free Co. And I like what I see already. This is probably gonna go in my pocket now since I am trying to test out some new knives and new EDC gear. I have actually been carrying more than one knife recently, both a folder or a multi-tool and a fixed blade. So looks like this is CPM 4V steel. It kind of has like a axis lock feeling mechanism on there. A huge opening on the back of the blade for kind of like flicking out. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, I'm sure. Really nice deep carry pocket clip on there, so this thing should disappear in my pocket. And it's a pretty small size, so great for EDC. This thing does feel super high quality, so. Thank you to Adam and the other guys at DFCO. I'm excited to test this thing out. The McQueen, if you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link for this in the description down below. I believe these are available right now and they've been kind of coming in batches over the past couple of months, I believe. So this is going to be the new mail opening knife, at least for this video. Thank you for the knife and thank you for all the stickers. I'm gonna add them to the sticker pile back here. Next up, first cut with the McQueen. We got one from Missouri. That is very sharp, very, very sharp. No real note on this one, just a packing slip. This is coming from Axwell, who makes wallets, I guess. Let's take a look at this wallet. We're just getting all sorts of EDC gear. I might have a whole new EDC set up after I'm done with this video. Axwell wallets. Axwell was founded with the aim to create lifelong industrial quality minimalist wallets. We invest in better production practices, higher quality materials, and timeless designs so you can own one wallet that will last a lifetime. There's a cash strap, a money clip. Let's get this thing out of the box and see what it's all about. Ooh, this thing's like heavy. Oh man, wow, that has a lot of weight to it. So this one looks like it's copper, I believe. They also include a money clip right here if you don't wanna go with like the strap that they have on here. I'm probably gonna leave it like this for now. This is very similar to another wallet that I have checked out in the past. So let's load this thing up with my current loadout. I've just got a bunch of cards right here. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. So those I can slide into place like that. A little bit of cash, slide that in the back little cash strap. Man, this is a heavy, heavy wallet. So that's what it's looking like right now, all loaded up, six cards, and of course cash in the back. To get the stuff out, I'm assuming you use push, you'd probably squeeze the bottom of this, fans out the cards a little bit, and then you can pull out which one you actually want. Brass and copper and like different color metals like this are not really my style, but since we're talking about trying new EDC stuff recently, I guess I will throw this one in my pocket for now. I can't get over the weight of this thing. This thing is super heavy. And we of course have a sticker as well going on the sticker pile. Thank you to Axwell for sending this out. Maybe you guys will see this featured in the next EDC video, which should be coming here soon, like I keep mentioning. You know what I just realized? This is magnetic. You can just pop these plates right off. Oh, so if I don't want to use this strap, click right into place there. Magnet right onto there. Cash right up there in the money clip. I like that. So if I wanted to, I could probably swap these out for like 
titanium or maybe just like black or gray, something like that. Interesting. What else do we need for EDC? We got a wallet, we got a knife, maybe like a flashlight up next or something. Now next package. This one is also coming from Washington. Stickers. Add them to the stack and patches. No note though. So this one's coming from Tacoma Force. Shout out to Tacoma Force. We've got a few patches here, Taco Zone, and then two Tacoma Force patches to add to the Overland patch wall. So thank you guys for that. We got some Taco Zone keychains on here for the taco. I'm not a huge keychain guy. And then we've got some other Tacoma Force stickers as well. Thank you guys. I see my truck shared on that page quite often and I appreciate that stuff. So thank you for the swag. These are going up on the wall and these will find a place somewhere. I feel like I should sticker bomb something at this point. Next up, which one should we do? They're all about the same size. Take your pick. If you said middle, that is the one that we are going with. This thing is very sharp. Oh, this is also from my friends at the Die Free Co. Good thing I didn't cut into the shirts with your new knife that you just sent me. Got a long sleeve to match that sticker. Very cool. We've got a logo tee, keeping it nice and clean and simple. And we've got the brain nods. This ain't a free show. Oh yeah, fits like a glove. Thank you guys, again. Next up, box or squishy package? Let's do squishy package. Don't really want to cut this open because this one is super packed out. Let's just rip this one. This is why it's puffed up because this one came from California. What are these? Hold on a second. Oh man, we've got food, we've got sauces, and thankfully a note. Talon, happy new year. I sent you some delicious yuzu Japanese barbecue sauce. Japanese barbecue sauce right here. Should we try this? Wait, who's this coming from? This is coming from Dave. I met Dave before. Thank you, Dave, first of all, for the package. I met Dave when I was in California before. Welcome to Testies, where we test stuff out and tell you how it is. Ooh, ooh, that's good. I have some Japanese barbecue sauce that I use on like chicken and rice and stuff like that. It might even be the same company. I think I got it from Costco before. That is super delicious. So I sent you some Japanese barbecue sauce, pizza chips, spicy noodles, and homemade Twix. Included are stickers for my food podcast, Food Origins Podcast right here. And I started my podcast in 2022. Wife and I are considering the van life, so I definitely wanna pick your brain about it. Looking to live in full time and take the podcast on the road as well. What would you choose? Truck slash trailer, short sprinter, storyteller, rebel, 170 sprinter. Okay, I like this because you're asking questions. Let's just turn into a Q and A. I would probably recommend a 144 wheelbase sprinter mainly because you can park in normal parking spots. I would stray away from a trailer because towing stuff around and like navigating some back roads and some places that you may want to go could be a little bit trickier. A truck with a truck camper could also be good, but you're gonna have more space in a Sprinter van. You could opt for a 170 or a 170 extended, but then again, those get really long. So I would probably opt for a shorter Sprinter out of those options that you mentioned there. We gotta try some of this homemade Twix. Texas Twix. I'm glad I opened this when I did because you don't want these to go bad. Check it, check it. One bite. Everyone knows the rules. Mmm. 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 Yes. Not a huge candy person, but it might be better than a regular Twix. And it's made with love. Handmade. Super good. Here we have some fancy ramen style soup. I'm gonna add this one to my camping pile. I'll make that in a future video when we're out camping. Melty cheese pizza potato chips. Quality control of Japan. Pizza chips, not as wild as I would think. It's got a little hint of pizza. It's not like those 
pizza explosion flavored goldfish, so it's pretty good. Saucy drops of melted cheese, herbs, and spices. Perfect match for crunchy ridge cut potato chips. Dave, thank you so much for sending this stuff out. I will save this Twix for Ashley. I might just eat all these potato chips myself. And I'll test out that ramen in a future video. Good luck with the purchase of your newest adventure vehicle. My vote is Sprinter Van, but let me know what you end up picking up. Next up, the box. What is this? A gift for you. Enjoy your gift. Thank you. Toys for one, two, three, four, five year old boys, girls, toddlers, preschool, learning activity, 30 P's, building blocks, stacking blocks. <laughs> what is this? I don't know who sent this to me because there was no name on the Amazon gift package. They're like building blocks for children. Are you trying to hint at something? You know who's about to have a kid, by the time this video goes out, might have a kid, Mike. Maybe Mike needs some of these for the new baby. And last but not least, ugh. Got the biggest box that we've been using as a table this whole time. Where's this one coming from? Hang on. The last US bag company up in Washington. I have actually met some of these guys at one of the Overland Expos, I believe, and they make Overland-ish type of gear. And this one is orange. Hell yeah, dude. Woo! This thing is pretty damn heavy duty. So this is actually like a rear tire carrier trash bag. Damn, the zippers, the materials on this thing are super nice. Looks like it folds completely open, I guess if you want to get like a trash bag out of this thing. Luckily, I just reorganized and like changed a bunch of stuff on the truck the other night. So I'm going to go out while we still have a little bit of daylight and install this thing. Look how big that buckle is. Tack belt Tacoma duffel, drop bottom grid system, water resistant, five pockets, YKK zippers, more storage here. Very interesting material for the mesh on the inside of these bags. It's got some grid material on the bottom here. I guess so you can throw stuff in and then dirt will kind of settle to the bottom. I don't know for sure, but that's gotta be what this is for. I constantly get dirt in my bags, so it looks like you can just unzip the bottom brush all the dirt out, this mesh will keep your gear in there, then you can zip it back up. I don't know if that's what this thing is actually designed for, but that is a really cool design. I'm pretty sure what that is used for, so that's dope. I'm definitely gonna find a place for that in my truck. We got some pouches here, which are probably for like flashlights and things of that nature. Last bag US. Ooh, this is sort of like a, feels like a dry bag sort of. It's got some straps up here to hang it. And then here's that cool mesh material. Two different size mesh bags. Got all the organization now. Not sure what I will do with these. Maybe like a laundry basket while we're out on the road. I'm not sure. This right here is the thing I'm most excited about. While there is still daylight, I'm gonna go put this on my truck because that is the last package. So thank you to everyone who sent something out for this episode of Mail Time. We can do these again every month, like I keep mentioning. You can send stuff to Psy Productions at this PO box on the screen right here, and maybe I will be opening your package in the next video. Really do appreciate everyone who sends stuff out. Thank you guys for watching these videos because without you, I obviously wouldn't be making them. I'm already looking forward to the next one. Hopefully you guys are too. And if you're new here, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.